Welcome to your Go Market Update for today, the 6th of May, 2022, with Mike Smith, your Senior Analyst in Go Markets. Let's have a look at what's coming across the news today. Of course, overnight, US stocks reversed the previous day's gains to retest 2022 lows, as we really have in market jitters about growth, and they continue to dominate sentiment, particularly in light of what the Fed telegraphed this week. And we saw the biggest one day drops for two years on the Dow and the Nasdaq. US futures, although mildly positive initially, are slightly negative in early trading now in Asia. And Asian indices are following that US lead. ASX is down 2%. And European futures are pointing lower. US dollar index returns to that resistance level. Big pop in the USD as bond yields rose again. It's near neutral in Asia today at this stage, but really look set to retest that multi-year high that we've discussed previously. Gold obviously dropped again on that USD strength to settle middle of the range between 1850 and 1900, around about that 1875 this morning, and oil remains around 110 a barrel on the Brent contract. Not surprisingly, on that market sell-off, we saw the VIX spike again, and it's retesting that 30 level, which could go higher yet again if we get a continuation of this sentiment. Cryptos weren't exempt from the sell-off and we saw a big sell-off in Bitcoin, which is now testing a longer term support around 36,000, so down about 4,000 on the day. And with it being Friday, there is a quieter earnings day today, although earnings continue next week in the US. We've had Japanese inflation higher than expected this morning. The RBA policy statement is already out. Later on, we've got German industrial production and US non-farm payrolls being the data highlights. Of course, the latter is one of the key market data points, which has the ability to move markets significantly. So if we are to hold on to this weak support that we have on the major indices in the US, we'll need that figure to come in better than expected to substantiate Jerome Powell's concept of a soft landing with the economy. A couple of charts to have a look at for today. I will start with AMC on the ASX. There's only 10 of the top 200 stocks in positive territory this morning on the ASX drop. But we had a big pop on AMC yesterday. And this 1780 level looks important. We are slightly up on the day at this stage. But just watch how this closes. We'll just put it on the weekly chart and show you why this level is important. And you can see there if we go back to August 2021, it was last at these highs. So this week closing at this level would even beat that high but we'd rather see it over the 1780 before we got interested so keep an eye on this early next week on the fx front if we look at the euro yen daily chart you can see there we've been battering against this resistance at around about 137.20 really for the whole of this week and yet today we've got a little pop through that to the upside Look as though we could be up to test the next level, which is the top of these wicks at 138.11. So around about 65, 70 pips from where we're trading right now. If we look at the 30 minute chart, you can see what's happened in Asia. A little bit of a soft candle right now, but most certainly an uptrend. And on the daily chart, it looks as though it's broken short term resistance at around about 137.50. So that move up that 70 points or so will be dependent on how we go with this candle and the next couple. So keep an eye on that one later on in the session. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.